Hey guys, Army Stinger 150 with you. This is the FLC in Woodland Camouflage. I wore this from 95 to 2001 when I got out of the Army. Uh, there were quite a few different variations on the FLC and uh, LBE and all that good stuff. This is the one that I used until I got out of the Army. In just a minute I'll adjust the camera and we'll get started and look at this thing. Alright guys, this is the Woodland Camouflage FLC circa 1995 to 2001. This is before we started using body armor on a regular basis for training. So this would go right up next to your uh, BDUs. What we've got here is the medical pouch or compass pouch, depending on what your role was. Earplugs. And this is set up to be a grenadier's vest. And what we got here there's two grenade pouches here, and two grenade pouches down here, and two 40 millimeter grenade pouches right here. Now, just to show you, I do have the grenade in there. There's another one in the other one. These are inert, they're not live. I got these at a uh, gun show so that I could have something historical to what I was wearing. Right here we've got this a woodland camouflage uh, head net. And of course a woodland camouflage boonie hat. Uh, this one is not mine. This is my brother-in-law's from when he was an E5. He gave that to me recently. I had one myself. Get these out of the way. And down here, I just wanted to show, as part of the uniform, we wore knee pads. So those are those. I'll get those out of the way. All right, now this is, like I said, this is set up for a grenadier. So all I had right here was two M16 ammunition pouches, which I put in there for illustrative purposes. Got my camel back. I'll show you how that's put on here in just a minute. Okay, on each side I got a canteen accessory pouch right there. Let me go to this other side. And of course, over here we've got my Gerber multi tool pouch with the Gerber multi tool in it. We've got a green smoke grenade. That's live, you're allowed to have these. And of course, like I said, we I have another canteen carrier over here. Now on my left side, which I didn't show you, because I have to do right now, is I have my Gerber Mark II, which is put on with a uh, shock cord, because it's not for Molly. Let's see, let me take you to the back of this thing. Okay, here's the back of the Woodland FLC. As you can see, I got the uh, Gerber Mark II there. This is the butt pack. It's just like the new one, except it's in Woodland. You'd attach it right to the back of the uh, FLC there. Now, I didn't set up the camel back like I would have if I was like, going to actually use this. As you can see, it has the adjustment straps. Now this is adjusted so it can be worn right next to the BDU uniform. Of course, if you're gonna wear body armor, it would be set up a little bit different. So this is the back. Got the Gerber Mark II there. I used that for many, many years, up until I got out in 2001. We'll go back to the front, take a little 360 uh, view of this thing. Now it's a little bit different in the than the newer Molly FLC, as this one has a side release buckle 
on top and it has another one at the bottom but no zipper which actually made it a lot easier to adjust while putting on body armor so this is the whole thing here this is what I would have worn 95 to 2001 so this is what the regular army would have been wearing So there you go, that's the Woodland Camouflage FLC from circa 1995 to 2001. Hey guys, Army Stinger 150 here. Now this is the FLC worn as I would have worn it from 95 to 2001. Now I'm wearing the Tinker boots because I was on a Vulcan M163 during the 80s as a Stinger gunner. So I'm wearing the Tinker boots to reflect that. Uh, we wore these knee pads. I uh, don't know what brand name they are. Uh, not all units wore these. Let's see, uh, we got the goggles to keep the dust out. Thing around the neck for the sweat and the camouflage if we need to. Uh, smoke grenades, M40 grenades. Uh, these would have been filled with grenades. Uh, I've got four M16 mags inside these pouches. This is the uh, Ripstop Summer uniform. Unfortunately, I picked the one uniform that I still had that had starch in it, so I'm extremely fucking hot and I'm sweating my ass off. Uh, you will notice that I have my sleeves rolled up. I wouldn't have been able to do that back in the day. See, I wouldn't have had these uh, Oakley M frames on. I would have had aviator glasses. But pretty much this is what I wore, except for a, a Kevlar helmet, M16, a Stinger missile on my back. This is pretty much what it looks like worn. Uh, this is. This really does reflect how I would have worn my uniform from 95 to 2001. Uh, with a few minor changes, this would have been totally acceptable. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Steen 150. Out.